Building websites is almost too easy now. There are so many awesome tools out there right now that most of the time consuming work is done for you. I feel like up to this point, there's always been a gap between my creativity and a fully developed website. There's just so many things to deal with wireframing, content, responsiveness, integrations, the actual development. There's just a bunch of hurdles that sometimes feel like they stunt the creative process. I just wanna be able to dive right in and start designing. But luckily I do feel like this is changing. We're kind of entering this new era of web design. Let me show you what I mean. So I've been building a lot recently in Framer and I'm particularly pumped about this new wireframer feature. It kind of lays the groundwork so you can just dive right in and start designing. So here's how it works. It's got a few pre-written prompts that you can use to build like a specific type of page, a feature project, a portfolio, but you can pretty much just type in anything here. All you have to do is give it details about what the page is. So I've been playing around with this the last few days just to see what I can get it to do. So in this first example, let's just say that I'm creating a new page for a client. Let's say this is a service page for an accountant and the page is going to be about tax preparation services. So the prompt I came up with was create a services page for an accountant. The service is tax preparation. So with this super brief and pretty vague prompt, it can still whip up a pretty good wireframe with some content. So on the chat here on the left, it still allows me to add more to the prompt or to select some options, like for example, adding testimonials. Now, if you don't like the way something looks, you can start from scratch or change a specific section. So let's say I want a different look for the testimonial section it just built. All you have to do is ask and those changes are done instantly. So this AI wireframing feature pretty much cuts out the whole first part of a project, all of the layout, the wireframing, and a lot of the content. Now, this obviously isn't going to create something that's ready to publish. This is just to set the foundation for your site. But the reason I love this so much is within the first day of a new project, I can have it all laid out, all wireframed, and then I can hand this off to the client and they'll know exactly what type of content needs to be created. And we're also gonna know what sections need to be designed and we can even start selecting images and videos. So it just gives us this huge head start on the entire process. And this has been even more beneficial than I would have thought because those first couple days and even weeks of a project sometimes just take a little too long to get the ball rolling. So being able to whip up these wireframes immediately is a huge win. So within this AI chat, there are a lot of other things that you can do. You can instantly switch the style to dark mode. You can provide more context to get more accurate content. And you can rework any section as many times as you want until it looks just right. Now, like I said before, there are definitely limitations to this feature because it's just for wireframes. This isn't going to build an entire site for you, but this is going to get you as far as it can. And then you're able to pick things up from there. You can use all of the pre-built sections provided by Framer, or you can dive right in and start doing it all yourself. So I've had a blast playing around with this wireframing tool, and it is by far the easiest way to kickstart a site. You don't need to pay for any other tools or templates. It's all right there inside the designer. Now you've probably noticed that I've been pretty excited about Framer as of late, but I know there are a lot of you that use other design tools, which is awesome. But I'd be curious to know which tools you guys are using. So if you have a spare three seconds, drop your design tool of choice down in the comments. All right, so with all of that said, I have yet to find any AI tools that can replace the creativity of a human, but there are a ton of tools just like this one that can take the worst parts of the project off your plate. This is going to save you time, it's going to save your creative energy for the things that actually matter, and it's going to allow you to have quicker turnaround on all of your projects. So if you wanna play around with this tool, it's right there inside Framer, and I'll be making tons of other videos in the future about other awesome AI design and development tools. So stay tuned for those, and we'll catch you in the next video.
Thank you.